Isle and actually it just attracts the attention which allows Kenny to have a bit of an easier time. We do eventually see a couple kills coming back though from Madline. So they've brought it back to the 3v3 at least. Jack's up close needs to win this battle out. It's not easy against the Glock but with low health Roy was in trouble. Either way though the headshot definitely finishes him off. Bubski now the last man left standing. The bomb not planted for him unfortunately. It's Amanek though who had that defuse. Okay he's gone down so Hunter trying to go for the full 10 second stick gets taken out. Now it's the 1v1. Jack's on half health roughly. The bomb is uh, ready to defuse. Kit is there to be retrieved and he has managed to pick it up. But Bubski, will he just go for the swing? Right now the bomb is being stuck. Swings out, takes the headshot. Massive one versus three from Bubski. That's just unfortunate that it wasn't Amanek who was already up near the bomb so that he could have just stuck it instead. Amanek trying to defend gets taken down. The player dash. up against an SMG close range having a USP no Kevlar. That's pretty ridiculous. Was it an SMG? Because he doesn't have a weapon for himself to work with right now. Hunden catches them coming around main. Unfortunately, also only able to find one kill before going down. So this is a very costly round at the very least. But it looks like it could actually go in favor of G2. Suddenly, Bubski's left alone. We've already seen him save the day once. Can he do it yet again? Spots the head and finishes off that first player who was already low health. And that leaves it all on Nexa now. No kit, of course. He's trying to push and actually forced, uh, forced the issue, rather. And as he goes in, no Kevlar. Didn't really matter because Bubski just hits the headshot immediately. Wins out the one versus three. Looks to find it. Smoke's going down as they push forward. Illuminar might have been trying to find their way into vents, but it doesn't matter. A 3k as two come out through main, and the smokes unfortunately just shield Bubski from being spotted by anyone. Fantastic secret. He can't spot anyone on the outside. He thinks he's pincering behind them, but now they start to realize nobody's on the A-bomb side. Something's going on, and as the door opens, they know it's B. Rotating down already. They've got a player close ramp coming down secret and vent. This could be a very nice push from Illuminar. Vent drop is heard. There's a player up close already. Bubski's ready for it though. He doesn't give a damn. He's not going to be caught off guard today. Oscar is lit to 50 and now I'd be saving if I'm Illuminar. I want that M4 for the next round but they're still starting to move forward. No kits in play right now. Flank comes through from Bubski. Goodbye to the M4 and Stomp sandwiched between two terrorists. Looking for a fight, not finding it. Flash goes out, well played, as he comes out through the window. An easy kill for Bubski to find. Stomp caught in the open. Illuminar lose their weapons, which is a big hit, because they can invest now, don't get me wrong. Left out to dry. Nice shot by Bubski. There's Oscar is taken down. Mad Lions are moving in towards the A-bomb site. At least that's what they want to convey to Illuminar. Fading through. Bubski! Oh my god! He takes Innocent as well! The spray transfer onto the head! <laughs>